How you guys like the new setup for the videos? <laughs> I got my plants right here. It's a little bit camera on me. I got my plants right here. It's my piano I used to use. I'm going to play a little song. Where is the cable? I'm going to play a little song while I remember. I haven't gone piano lesson in a while though, so I'm gonna expect me to not be perfect with it. It's full of plant that's as well. I don't know how I could possibly edit it in. People are like Yeah, so you guys can see I'm actually playing the piano. Okay, I don't know, I don't know the other one, um... No. These pedals don't work, man! It longer doesn't work. Stupid. But um, yeah, taking a huge step back to the piano. Sorry guys. I'll put the blue the new for you once again if you want it. You want it? You want it? Ah, oh, you do. Yay! Ah, <laughs> uh, I forgot the staccato and the rhythm. Oh well, I'll just play like I used to. I know the ending. It's so bad though. I'm so bad. I used to know this entire song. Can you believe it? At one point in, in my life, at like fucking 8, 10 years old, I peaked and I knew the entire, entirety of this song, The Blue Danube. And I now, at 17 years old, I intensely desired to get back into piano because I knew... One, it's like... Um, I saw a guy called Tristan Tate talk about it and he was like, yeah, it would be W Riz. Like, imagine being able to play the, the violin. Like how... how how attractive would that be? It, it shows that you're different and you're special comparatively to everyone else. And secondly, it's because I forgot how beautiful music could be. Genuinely, like... I forgot how... good music was like. I, it just... I was so swept up in how the bad the lessons were and I didn't like the lessons and I was doing something I didn't like. I just forgot to appreciate actual music because a lot of it is just repetitive work I probably played the song over a hundred times and I forgot it can you believe it? I don't even remember the beginning verse I forgot the staccato I, got, I remember most of the fingering yo <laughs> but yeah it's honestly blaming blaming and blame culture is incredibly easy to have and it's incredibly easy to blame shit Especially in this modern age as well, but I think blaming is good because then it kind of resolves issues on its own somehow, somehow, somehow or another. I think because I was so addicted to video games and games growing up and my little iPad, I remember I was going to my boxing gym one time and um, I am recording, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> If I, had, I wasn't recording for the first four minutes of this video, four, four, four minutes, 30 seconds. I was going to boxing for and I'm a quite a talkative individual, which is why I make this YouTube channel so I can end up being less lonely. Ow! My hair's. I don't wash my hair in the morning. I just try to brush through my hair with my hand and just. Oh, damn, man, it hurt. Why am I, why am I doing this with my hand? My hand doesn't hurt, my hair hurts. Oh, damn, the dandruff, you can see it. Disgusting. I'm going to wash my head soon. I remember I was going boxing and this woman who knew me, I went boxing before at like a very young age. And this woman who knew me 
I'm just paying attention to these plants. I've been watering them consistently. Now they fucking grew like crazy, dude. Like this plant has grown into like separate different plants. Like this, this one is like at least two plants. Like you see another root over here. So I can separate into two plants and have literally more plants. This is, this is amazing. Anyways, I'm not giving out the plants. But I literally was so addicted to my iPad. All I did was, I was like the little silent kid. It's like one of those parenting techniques that parents do these days where they send off their kid with like the iPad. They're like, oh, little Timmy, stop misbehaving. Here's an iPad, which I find such like a detrimental effect towards. There's like a detrimental effect that uh, that happens there because of you just show, showing off your child with an iPad that I think kid, like parents don't fucking realize. But like, it's your first time parenting. I, I, I don't blame my mom for this because it's a first time parenting and she doesn't know how to parent, clearly. I just treat my children better. Uh, that's not an insult to my, to my mom. I, I really love her. But the way that I made me approach life so far is I run away from all things and I just delve into the virtual world instead of facing my actual issues in real life. But then slowly before my, my mom understood that I was delving too much into the social world. So she, she remembered herself. She told me something really important. If you have a mouth, then use it. Like At the time when I was... I was like a little spug, I was like um, 8, 10, 11, 12 years old and my mom told me something very very interesting because I was like such a shy kid, I was introverted, I was shy but at times I was also extroverted, it was very weird but I think moving from from like yes, year 5, year 6 because of like some embarrassing events I stopped being so talkative I, I, I said in another video I shit myself <laughs> in Pendaran in year 6, I was like 11 years old and I shit myself on the bus and then it was really embarrassing. I don't know why I ate before. <laughs> and then I think my social value kind of dropped off of that. And then kids made like, I was like an object of like clownery. And kids kept laughing at me because of it. I was like this low key bully. And then my mom was like, she stepped in, clutched up. It was before and after she said, well, like she said it completely for a few years. She said, if you have a mouth, then use it. It doesn't make sense in English, but it makes sense in Vietnamese, okay? Um, so, yeah, chill out, chill out, chill out, that sounds, everything sounds zesty in this, in this modern day, I think that's in a separate video to talk about, everything sounds zesty, that's how fucked we are as a society, everything is just, like, porn and sexualized and all this shit, it's just, it fucks your brain, honestly, it actually fucks your brain, I think it, it's messed me up broadly as well, and only now, since I've taken a week off, um, you know, jerking off, <laughs> Uh, doing going on all week on nofap i think i've felt so much more focused and in tune and happy with life so far um anyway the uh, i was like a shy kid i didn't want to talk to anyone i didn't want to converse with anyone i was quite embarrassed and reserved you know, it's very, very far cry. It's a very, very different person. The person I am now, as in, I am much more extroverted now, and I'm much more talkative. And in fact, I'm anything too talkative. I think you can often see it as bad. I don't know. I, I heard from Hamza like. The reason why we like cough sneeze so much is because it's because of the fact that we used to be no we used, we're in a country where it's immensely high with pollution. Yeah. What the fuck was I talking about in this video? <laughs> Do I need to watch this back? I'm gonna reach for the camera and watch this back, but. Well, let me, let me go, let me hear back. I'm sorry, I'm probably like that scuffed. It's my uncut channel. Expect it to be scuffed, but... Yeah, this is too scuffed. This is way too scuffed. I should have had... I had a completely different topic coming in, and then I just... I had a couple side stories, and then I developed that topic instead of the topic that I wanted to talk about. And that is how... We kind of just ran away from our problems with social media, with, with our iPhone, with our phones, with our devices. It's allowed us to escape into the virtual world. 
and I completely reject the physical world, the world that actually matters. That instead of earning money in real life, you earn money in the video game. Instead of getting skins, clothes, getting prestige, money, status, looks, handsome, <sighs> you get handsome. I mean, yeah, you can get handsome. Instead of doing that, you do it in the video game. And as the more time you sink the video game, the less ROI, it, uh, no, the less time you actually have in real life to sink, to grind in real life. You understand what I'm saying? I bet there's a, a, a phenomenal ultra talented genius boxer out there who plays video games constantly and will never see his potential. I bet there's a basketball player who's like six foot one, six foot two. He could have been six foot seven if he trained properly, but instead he plays video games all day. And well, what is that? Waste potential. And most of these guys that play video games all day, they cope and they rationalize. Like, oh, I do it to relax and etc. etc. When you're not relaxing, You either void numb of emotion or angry. I recorded myself a while back. I don't know, it was it was a very long time ago. I think I deleted the video because I need to make some space. But I recorded myself a while back playing video games and my face was completely vacant. Like with my headset on and <laughs> and my little and my little controller, I was like, push me. I was playing Apex Legends at the time. And I still like Apex Legends, but I don't think I can make a return. I don't think it's worth it. Anyway, I was like, 217? 217? How the fuck is he not dead yet? 217, ready? Well, ready? Uh, no, no, no. One shot, one shot. These guys are literally all one shot. Push, push, push. It was like some fucking platinum ranked lobby. So it was like the, the stakes were high. And you know, it was actually intense. And in the, in the video game, I looked cool. And in real life, I was a shitter. I literally, my main point of this video was, no, no, it's literally, how do I have this? We're 12 minutes in the video and I'm finally getting to the main point. <laughs> the main point of the video was I literally was meditating outside for 10 minutes, looking at the sunlight, and I felt an intense wave of euphoria because of it. And it actually was difficult for me to look at to look at the sky because I had destroyed my eyes so much from gaming, from using the computer in a dark in a dimly lit room, from using my device too much. I struggled to look at the sky. I struggled to look at the sky. My eyes were that fucked. I mean, I talked about it in another video, but think about how fucked that is. Because for so many years, I've been escaping into the iPad, escaping to the virtual world, escaping to the the game, into this game, to that game. I've literally forsaken my eyesight. Obviously, with glasses. I was bound to get glasses anyway. I got glasses before I got my first phone. Um, let me think about it. No, I think I got my. Uh, I think I got it after my first phone, but it was very. It was like soon after my eyesight was just going to, to crap. I don't think it was so much of the phone. I think it was other facts as well. But I think about that. How the, how fucked is that? Genuinely, how fucked is that? My both of my parents had glasses, so I think it was bound for me to have glasses. I wouldn't have have perfect vision anyway. Like. It, it, it's all fuck situation because my eyes are bad like I can it's very difficult to enjoy life I don't like glasses I don't like having glasses having this like thing that um, literally when I take it off it obstructs my vision like I can't see it's all a blur you know when you have like a uh, on Google, you go on PixArt or GIMP or you go on like the, um, the portrait effect on on your phone for the background, and it's you there in the focus, and other thing, the background's uh, blood. That's me. My vision is that blood. It's just a blur. Like, no wonder I'm bad at sports. No wonder I can't enjoy sports for what it is. When it rains, the, the water that like, gets into the rain, the rain water gets into my glasses, and now I can't see. During COVID, when everyone was racist to my ass, amazing. I, I had a mask on and I literally couldn't see because of the, my breath in my glasses. I hate glasses. With all my with all my heart, I hate glasses. I genuinely hate it. I, I when I reach eighteen, uh, apparently when you reach eighteen, your eyes still haven't fully developed, fully developed yet. But it's, it's not the best time to get laser eye surgery. So it's like twenty one's a bad age. 
make a deal with that shit right now. I actually, I want to be honest, guys. I fell back into temptation with the phone, with the phone thing. Like I use YouTube for two hours, fifty-five minutes. Jesus fucking Christ! I used used to use it for like ten minutes a day, for like months. And I and I went ahead and gave myself YouTube addiction again. I realized like this is YouTube shit. It's absolutely fucking ass. So I'm trying to tomorrow, not even tomorrow, but today I'm just cutting off by now, and then tomorrow it's gonna be back to ten minutes because I literally. I didn't count the days, I just tried to focus on each every single day because the, the day that I lived, like the day I was present was the day I met the most. What's the best age to get laser eye surgery? According to Hodges Eye Care, generally speaking, most LASIK eye surgeons agree on 25 to 40 as the ideal age range for LASIK eye surgery candidacy for a few reasons. By the age of 25, eyeglasses and contact lens prescriptions have most likely stabilized. A stable prescription is one of the hallmarks of a good LASIK candidate. Twenty-five is too old. Eight years, bro. But I have to get at some point, and I want to do sports as well. And I don't think I have a career in boxing if I'm this blind. Um, honestly, I can try to focus on increasing my eyesight as best as I possibly can without the the glasses. Like trying to like shadow shadow box and fight without glasses but I don't think I'll fight professionally you know, my dreams of that is crushed because I have glasses I'm a 5.5 5 in this eye or this eye I believe and 5.75 in this eye I think it might be reverse I don't remember the exact thing I go to my pictures and check but yeah that that poses an interesting dilemma that literally because of my eyesight I can't pursue my dreams because I decided Obviously, my eyesight could be much better had I decided not to use phones as much. But even then, it still was it still was difficult for me to not get into it. Like looking back on the choices, of course, I wish I didn't. I wish I spent more time in reality, like playing with friends more, doing more sports, reading books more. Laying off the phone, having the phone, but you know, not using it. I don't think I'll give my, my kid a phone until he's like 16, or 17, or 18. And he's gonna fucking thank me for that shit. And I just swear to God, he's gonna thank me for that shit. I'm not gonna give my, my child, my even like. They can feel out of place as much as they fucking want. I'm not giving my kid, daughter, son, don't care, a fucking phone until they're 16, 17, 18. I'm not, I'm not doing it. Because their eyes will be fucked. It's so common for parents these days just to be like, like instead of actually being a parent and being a, fi like a father figure, a mother figure, a supportive figure in their children's lives, they just send their kids off. And I get life gets busy in the way, life gets in the way, life gets fucking busy, I understand. But that is no way to parent your kid. Because he ends up just being like me. Eyes fucked. Hate glasses. I spent all my all my youth, most of my youth in the virtual world, and I hate it. I literally showed you me playing piano. Now I can't play play piano anymore. Are you serious right now, bro? I'm gonna go on a meditation session for another ten minutes. I'm gonna leave like half an hour, another twenty minutes, so, and then I'm gonna go back to work on my computer, and then I'll probably work for like an hour or two. And then I'll go back to meditating outside because that's literally the highlight of my day and reading as well. I'm probably gonna read after this. After the half half an hour of meditation in the sunlight on the back of my balcony, and then half or one hour of reading or a two hour of reading if possible, if I can focus on that high. Maybe I'll put some ambient music in the background of my TV. See that hole? I don't know if you can see that. I don't use it. It was a gift. I don't use it. Always off. Uh, I, ideally, I could unplug it, but I don't. I might put a fireplace ambiance on it. Just set the mood. If my advice to someone younger than me, and I'm not that old either, I'm 17, but in four months I'm 18, so I'm basically 18. Four months is nothing. 
my advice to someone who's much younger than me and on the self-improvement grind do not use your phone like literally snapchat uninstall and never go back and people say like oh you want to keep the, the app on your phone and etc etc no no you don't I, I, mean, I guess all the people are different and do what works for you but the way i approach things is i delete the app and i never look back i deleted tiktok last year or like more than eight months ago no um it's been nine three three it's been six months i deleted tiktok no 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 eight months seven and a half months i just say eight months eight months i deleted tiktok and i have never looked back never i've used to i think it over two times in the eight month period i can count it on literally on my hand two times and it was on the pc version and i watched one two videos and i thought this was shit and i knew that i missed out on nothing and i closed the tab and i never opened it again tiktok in an uninstall never look back snapchat uninstall never look back and this is like yes i'm already uninstalled it and then you install it a week after no 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 you get the urge you feel left out, you get the FOMO, feeling of missing out, and you don't fucking install it again. Because if you do, you are literally allowing yourself to be a Jeffrey, to be an average man, to be a Spurg, to be mediocre. All social media is trash. I spent 20 minutes, no, I spent 16 minutes, uh, 26 minutes on Facebook, scrolling through a bit, looking through my... My mom was post first, and then I looked through some videos, like some people making food, fit waffle, making food. Not until fit waffle, she's making content, W props to her. Amazing recipes, I might follow them, some of them soon. 26 minutes of my time wasted, I'll never get back. That pisses me off royally. Instagram, uninstall. I've been clean on Instagram for three, two, three years of my life now. I'm pretty sure I uninstalled like when I was 14. 15. Best decision ever. Ever. I'm complete. I'm done off Instagram. YouTube. Cut that shit off. If, if the best thing you can do is when you go on YouTube, you have focus session on YouTube. You have YouTube. You have like, a, like if you're learning coding, you have a C plus plus programming uh, course, a Harvard programming course uh, up up there. You could go and learn Harvard level information for free on the internet. With hard work and dedication, with focus sessions on the internet. With the right mindset. Or you could watch Hamza's self improvement videos. Or my or even even me, my self improvement videos. When I'm when I'm starting up, I'm gonna have to shit them out now. I'm gonna be clipping my best clips on Apex Legends. That's gonna take the entirety of the this today. I'll be fully focused doing that shit. I'll be clipping my Berserker channel thing. Then I'll be clipping my Jimmy Channel Cat channel and my ADHD podcast. I got four projects, to, concurrent projects to work on. I'll be clipping like crazy. I'm spinning all over the place. You can keep watching my videos, or you could take the best things on my videos, watch them, and then take the best thing on my videos and then apply them into your, into your life. Delete every single piece of social media. YouTube, you can keep it on the side. But make sure to be strict with YouTube. Get a thumbnail blocker and consciously get a timer thing. Like if you're doing YouTube and you're studying, for example, do one hour segments exclusively. Like try to take in, note down, take in, note down, take in, note down. You know what I'm saying? Try to study and learn. That's so fucking annoying. I look at the back at the time I wasted on the video games and on the time I wasted grinding on Apex Legends and Minecraft. Minecraft. I don't even play Minecraft anymore. The fuck? All the grinding was worthless. It wasn't even that fun looking back. I was playing solo. Stupid. I'm not one of those individuals that will play for one hour a day. And people that say that, it's a fucking lie. It's like you. It's like five, ten minutes to load into the game. And then you play for like another hour of the actual game. Now it's an hour 15. Now you feel like you haven't played enough, so you like play maybe like this one more game, bro, and then you play like another game. Like Apex Legends, one game is like twenty minutes, easy. If you win, it's like twenty-five minutes, half an hour of just like shooting and fighting. You play like five games, a thirty minutes each. Two and a half hours. It's time to never get back. Which pisses me off so bad because 
had I spent that time reading, reading books, focusing on grinding, focusing on the YouTube channel, I play, okay, I play the game for like an hour, I get like a few really good clips, I play the game for like six hours, like what, once per week, and then for the rest of the week, I'd be grinding on YouTube, trying to get the content out, content out, so I can make money off the thing, or like I'm streaming as well while I'm doing it, trying to be somewhat productive, and then people are like, oh, don't do your hobby as a, as a work, uh, as like a what's the thing of work, and I agree because then you start enjoying it less. But then, get, I tr trust me, you will feel immensely happier with your like four hundred subscribers and your like a hundred thousand views on YouTube after the video game than actually playing the video game. Immensely happier. I'm gonna do a meditation session now. Delete every social media. And focus on the real world. Catch you guys in a bit. In a bit. Remember, hard work is easy for me.